Friends in Christ, my name is Deacon Scott Johnson. I was recently ordained on June 20th, 2020, and I've been assigned to Prince of Peace Parish. I'm glad to be here with you. I'm glad to be able to get to know a number of you. I've been uh, welcomed warmly by Father Tom and by Father Stephen and all the staff. Uh, I just am so joyfully happy to be here. Um, in my journey to Doc, and it really started with... Uh, getting uh, sick, very, very sick. And really after recovering from that, I was so so affected by what happened to me that I decided I, I really felt called to join uh, the ministries uh, for nursing home, homebound hospital. And I did that for about six years. And during that time, I became more and more aware through others that talked to me as well as my own prayer life that God was asking me to do something a little different. And uh, I really felt uh, a calling to permanent document. And uh, in that calling, I began to inquire and uh, entered formation in 2014. Uh, my formation period for six years, I, I really enjoyed all of it. It was, uh, it really formed uh, a deep relationship with Jesus in that and really also formed a relationship with the church and our community. Uh, I can't uh, tell you how thankful I am for that. And really am forever changed because of it. Um, a little bit about ordination and what I went through. Uh, it uh, is an experience that, uh, like a number of those experiences that you have in life, that you sort of, it puts you in a different trajectory for the rest of your life. You know, whether it be a birth of a child or a confirmation or uh, a wedding, these kinds of events that happen in our lives there's, there's a reason we call them sacraments, and there's a reason that they take such a profound effect on you as a person. Uh, it was a joyful experience, but also uh, I can tell you uh, it was very impactful hearing the words of the bishop, um, the words of ordination, listening to that prayerfully uh, was, uh, as I went through it, was, uh, I'll never forget any of it. It just was deeply, deeply impactful for me, and uh, I just uh, thank our Lord um, for what he's called me into, and I'm, I'm deeply grateful. I did want to leave all of you with uh, a, some words from John Paul II, who I really uh, grew up around. I, I always paid a, a lot of attention to things that he said, and I was always uh, amazed at his optimism. Uh, I, I tend to try to be an optimistic person myself, and I know in our day and age where everybody is going through COVID-19, um, employment issues, health issues, all kinds of other situations, whether it just be the fact that you're in your house and you can't get out uh, because of, of the situation that we're under. Um, I want to leave you with uh, some words of John Paul II that I, I think are profoundly deep in this, in this time period. I plead with you, never ever give up on hope. Never doubt, never tire, and never become discouraged. Be not afraid. And I think those are very, very good words for today. And I think that for all of us, if we put our trust in Jesus, we'll never, never be disappointed. So I wish all of you a good couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be seeing each other soon. I hope that masses are able to resume soon. I'll be praying for that and praying for each and every one of you. And I ask that you pray for me. Uh, I need lots of prayers and I ask for them from you humbly. And I hope that you have a good rest of your day and week until we see each other again. Amen and God love you.